the process of understanding is very simple. The process is, as I explained last time, I explained more in detail. We come, we are created, out of the rays within the center of the universe. In interaction and reduction in the strength and division by the strength in certain strength fields, in collection of the totality of the expansion of the universe, some energies, some dynamic fields have come together. Over billions of years, these fields lead to the creation of what we call the sun. where the plasma gathers together. The same process repeats again, because the Sun is the same as the energy center of the universe. Now, the heavier, the larger amount of the energy which is collected in this span of the universe, of the sun that it radiates out, it does the same thing again. Radiates its fields out, and in interaction with the itself, with the fields of itself, leads to creation of planet. In that process of the creation of planet, the same process happens again. In the interaction of the fields of the Earth, with its environment and cooling and exchange with the strength of the other things in the environment of the space of the solar system, leads to creation of a cell matter state. And that itself, in coming together and slowing down in such, such certain ways, as we call, leads to another sun. We call the soul of the man. This is the truth about the life and creation of the man. But, if the soul of the man can understand and absorb and be correct with his conduct, he can become the strength of the fields and carry the strength of the field of the planet which came to his creation. And if the soul can understand with the same process, can interact, can be correct, can absorb with itself the totality of the strength of what it needs, it shall become the sun. And then, the same soul has the energy that it can absorb within the solar system, within the galaxy, shall become the center of the universe. This happens on Earth, we call it the rain. Come from, goes back to. In the solar system, we call it planetary system. We come from the rays, we become the planet and go back to the
the same thing happens with the galaxies, with the solar systems, which they get absorbed back in, and they chew it up back in. The life, the process of existence in the universe is the same. It doesn't matter on what exchange or what extent. So, what is the man fighting for? Why do we fight for something which has come from the point of the creation and in the process it goes back to the creation? The soul of the man, as the energy of the earth, gives the face of the man, the face of the earth, and that process is the same for the soul of the man. Our soul, in reduction in strength, in interaction with the emotion of the field of environment, leads to manifestation of the existence of the man. But, once it's completed, does it need the face? Or can it be, and becomes free from it, what we call the soul of the man, to be free and detached from its existence? Our soul is part of the process of the creation. The key to one question, for man shall be in the future to be answered, as we saw, the sun became the earth, and as we saw, the earth became the man's soul. What would be the destiny of the soul of the man, now becomes free at the point of departure from physicality? Would it become the sun for creation of another life? of many lives, or correction of lives. This shall be, and this is how it happens. When you create a soul, which is not correct, which is misconduct by itself, cannot give, you lead to the creation of this next cycle of creation, which has started the wrong way, the wrong strength. This is one thing the man has never understood. You become the creator of another universe, another cycle. And this is what you have to judge in the structure of the soul of the man. What would I like that cycle to be? In the physical life, we create children. In the dimension of the life, of the soul of the man, what that man, what that soul will create? If man has thought up to now, that's it. My end, my point, when I die is finished. There's as much fallacy that when the sun is destroyed, in any shape or form, there shall be nothing left. But we know the part of the sun becomes part of the galaxy and becomes part of new life. So shall be the soul of the The judgment of the man has to be according to what he sees the future his soul can conduct to be. The day of judgment is for the man, not in front of the Creator. That, what my soul judges to be, and what shall create. Man never understood, and shall never understand, till he can solve this dilemma within itself. The reality is very, very, very real. And that is, as we've seen, the energy of the galaxy becomes the Sun, the energy of the Sun has become the Earth, and the energy of the Earth has become the soul of the man, 
so shall be the soul of the man, which is the energy itself, and on the cycle of life. How can you change, when you don't understand? How can you change the process of understanding, if you do not understand the process of the creation? Do we need to extend the understanding of the man, that what is the future he brings? We care about our children, what education they get, what they wear, how happy they will be, where they sleep. Now the man has to be careful and consider, what life shall my soul create? Because those are the children of your soul. As we see, the rays of the sun has become a planet, and seven million children of it. Seven billion unlimited, which is growing. So the soul of the man will go through the same process. How many billions and subdivisions and sub matter state of the physicality of the man your soul shall create? Would it be the soul of wars and conflict and ever killing? Or would it be the soul of this, let's say, solar system, which is peaceful? This is the truth and the reality of what the soul of the man. First of all, as I said many times recently, we never understood that the soul of the man is within the structure of the man. And now that we understood, we understand on departure from the physicality of the man, the same process will carry on as it did to a star and planet and the soul of the man becomes another energy source, a higher order, which itself leads to the creation, it becomes the star, it becomes the center of the new cycle of creation. This is what the human race has to understand. The cycle actually starts at the point of death, and not finishes at the point In so many ways, if one understands, is as the dusts, the specks of dust came together, to make the earth in the solar system, so has the specks of the atoms has come to be the creator of man. And the essence of the creation of the specks of dust on the solar system, has led to the creation of the man, so shall be the fields from the soul of the man, which lead to creation of another cycle of life. What kind of life man would like to have, to be created by his soul? This is the day of judgment. This is what man never understood. Now, you have to understand. You have no choice. Up to today, you were not aware of it. From today, you are aware of it you are responsible for it. Your conduct has to be to elevate your soul, that in elevating the soul, what you become the creator of, stands correct in the conduct of the citizens. We don't give a fairy tale, this is the truth, but as you've seen, the process does not stop with one side. The cycle carries on. It's very interesting, in how humanity, now knowing the fact, will handle the fact. It'll take decades for man to understand, and then you understand those who become the tools of war, the tools of conflict, they have less, they have nothing to start with, they have to become the dust in the solar system of the others, till the day they learn more as they cannot create a new cycle through their own soul. This is the elevation of the soul of the man. To be part of the creation of a beautiful life for the next cycle. When you don't have it, you have to become another cell in the body of the structure of the bigger, for you to be just there that you can run where you could have been the soul of the man.
they say, do not create fear. I give you the point of love for creation. If you cared about your children on this planet to have the best, your true children come out of your own soul in the coming time. How would you like to educate them? How would you like to be when you are in conflict with yourself and the cause of so much mayhem? This is the truth, and the man will take a long time to understand, as now that we understand the soul of the man is an operator for the creation of the future extent of the life of the world. Whatever is gathered by the soul, at the end, becomes its point of reference of its own creation of its own dimension. But the strangest thing is, what he creates from the soul shall become the creator of the other souls. This is the beauty about the creation, and one understands it, understands no limitation. 